Good morning, Peter Gertz. This is not a happy topic. When you lose a patient to suicide, bad outcomes in psychiatry, let's talk about this. It's not a topic doctors necessarily feel comfortable talking about or enjoy talking about, of course. I'll give you some examples of things that I've been through as far as patients having bad outcomes. One patient I recall is a patient who was very angry, depressed, but also very angry. And he was not on a locked ward, which in hindsight may have been part of the problem. So he was angry, very depressed, not on a locked ward, and he ended up committing suicide. Another example, a patient who made a very serious suicide attempt was hospitalized. He was placed on medication and then was discharged. And as far as I recall, may not have taken his medicine and then made another very serious suicide attempt. And from both suicide attempts, he actually sustained significant physical injuries, unfortunately. Another patient had made a serious suicide attempt. He was on a one-to-one -one suicide watch on the ward and the unit was short staffed that day. The nurses didn't have much staff and the head nurse came to me and said, Peter, can we take this patient off a one-to-one -one suicide watch? He'd been in the hospital maybe two days or so. And I liked that head nurse and I, went ahead and discontinued the one-to-one -one suicide watch. And the patient seemed okay later in the day. I passed him, he was socializing in the hallway. But then a little while later, they found him hanging in his room. He tried to hang himself with a sheet and he ended up dying, I think a day or two later, he may have been transferred to the ICU. So in hindsight on that one, part of the problem may have been that I felt I wanted to help the nurses and may not have felt entirely comfortable discontinuing the one-to-one -one suicide watch. Another patient was on a locked psychiatric ward, but he started having a major medical problem, was transferred to a medical ward, and then was found dead a day or so later on the medical ward from a drug overdose. So he had managed to overdose on a drug in the hospital. He was a drug user. So in hindsight on that patient, it would have been wise maybe to put him on a one-to-one -one watch on the medical floor so that he could be observed at all times. Another patient, two more examples. Another patient was a very depressed gentleman and I was leaving to go to a conference and I did not feel comfortable discharging him. He told me himself that he didn't trust himself with drugs and while I was out at the conference, he was discharged and he was found after overdosing on a drug and he was still alive though then, but unfortunately he died a short time after that. The last patient I want to mention is an older patient who'd had a full life, career, marriage, but when I saw him, he was very depressed. Even though he, I saw him in the clinic for some time, his mental state, his depression would wax and wane somewhat. At one point he was actually doing very well, but he was found dead at home after killing himself at home. And in hindsight, one thing that occurred to me about that patient was 
that he, like I said, he'd had a full life, but he apparently did not feel he was having a full life anymore. He was older, he was not working anymore. So that probably was something I could have attended to, maybe made sure he got more psychotherapy, even though as far as I recall, he may have gotten psychotherapy, but at least in hindsight, it seems that more attention could have been paid to the patient not feeling fulfilled in his life anymore. So after a bad outcome, whether it's suicide or overdose, unintentional, the first thing or one initial thing to do, in my opinion, is to just accept your feelings, embrace your feelings, whatever they are. And it's probably going to be a mixture of feelings, anger, sadness, feeling unsure about yourself professionally, is my judgment bad? Talk about your feelings with friends, colleagues, if you feel comfortable. And also feel free to talk about those feelings in psychotherapy, which can be very useful. Of course, in hindsight, everything is clear and we want to learn from things. So you want to reflect on what happened. You don't want to dwell on things. You don't want to wallow in things, but you want to reflect on what happened and do your best to learn from the things that happened. And that way, the next time you can do things differently, hopefully. There can be a major bureaucratic process after a bad outcome, an investigation by the hospital. So that can be difficult for doctors also. And one can feel like one's in a court of law being tried. And you want to try not to take things personally that is just the bureaucratic process. That's the way things are done. And you want to realize that you're human, of course, and any human makes mistakes. And we want to try and learn from those mistakes. Thank you.